Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your kettlebell mini band supersets workout. In this workout, we're gonna work the entire body using both a kettlebell and if you have it, a mini loop band. If you don't have a band, don't worry, you can do this workout with just a kettlebell and if you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell or just keep it body weight. Either way, I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and start just by moving your body. You can march, you can jog, you can step touch, whatever you need to do to get your muscles warm, to get that body's temperature up. Let's roll those shoulders right through here. Now, I have a couple different kettlebells available to me today and a few different types of mini bands. So if you have bands, if you wanna take it, maybe your thicker ones, if you have options for when we go with that lower body, a little bit lighter when we go upper body. All of this, I'm gonna give you different options as I always do. I remind you to be where you are today. This is your workout. I want you to, you do you, right? But also, sometimes it feels a little awkward or a little different putting the resistance and the weight together. So if that is not your thing, you can certainly alternate. There are gonna be a few things in this workout where we either take the band away or we take the weight away for especially that last round. I'm gonna be going probably a little bit lighter than I normally do today. I have some stitches on my back. I had a little skin surgery. Don't worry guys, I'm fine. But because of that, I'll be going a little bit lighter with some of these exercises. Let's take it up and down right through here. Big reach and then little hinge. But again, if you have options, keep them close by. And again, if you don't have kettlebells, use a dumbbell. If you don't have bands, just keep it body weight. I think you're gonna love the burn of this workout. Let's hinge it right here. You're gonna hinge and then bring it up, big stretch. Some of you did the dumbbell mini band that we did last week. It's gonna feel very similar. We're gonna be working in supersets. What does that mean? That means we have two exercises. Let's walk it out to that inchworm if you can. If that's not right for you, you can take it to your knees or you can keep just your hinge. Two exercises that we're going back and forth between those two exercises. And the way we're gonna do it is we're going to keep it similar body muscle groups. So we'll have a lower body, an upper body, a core, and then we'll put some things together. And we're also gonna do it in descending sets. So our descending time. So we're gonna be going down in time, but of course, up in intensity. You can hold it right here if you're able. Take one step right here. If you need to drop that knee down, big reach right through here. Reach under, reach it up. So your first set of supersets, again, two exercises. Some will have right and left. We're going 40 seconds of work, followed by 20 seconds of rest. Go ahead and switch your leg on that. You can either switch from the knees or switch from the plank. Reach it up. Your second round, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. And then that last round is a quick round where we will sometimes either remove the band or take it just with the band. Remove the band or remove the weight. Take it right here to that high plank or knees. Stretch it back, child's pose. Come up to here or child's pose up to your plank. That last round is a lightning round, only 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So maybe that sounds like a lot, but don't worry. We're gonna talk you through it as you go. Go ahead and walk those hands back. I want you to pedal those feet right through here, either your hands on your legs, hands on the ground, and then slowly work your way up. All right, so hopefully that made sense. We will have a lower body circuit. Let's tap it out and reach. An upper body circuit, a short core circuit. Then we will put some things together and then have a little bonus circuit. Of course, since we're working with our kettlebells, we'll probably work in some swings just for fun. You know that I love them. Let's take it right here. Bring those hamstrings up. So use the best option that is available to you. Be where you are today. That's where you are on your fitness level and where you are today. If something doesn't feel right for you, take it down, drop the band, drop the weight, keep it body weight, take the lower impact option. Whatever you need is right where you need to be. All right, go ahead and stretch it out right here. So we're gonna start with our first round. I want you to go ahead and grab a heavy band if you got it. And I have a link to my favorite band down in the comments. We're gonna put this above our knees and we're gonna grab a medium to heavy kettlebell. 
We're gonna hold it right here and we've got our goblet squat. So this is all we need right here. We're just gonna take it down, press out with the knees, and bring it up. When we get to our second exercise, we're gonna take it to a little band kickstand deadlift. So we'll have right and left. We're gonna go here, we're gonna bring it up. When we get to those second rounds, I'm gonna give you some options to take a little extra. We wanna add a little side leg to that squat or a little leg lift to that deadlift. But I'll talk you through it. Those will all be optional. All right, team, so goblet squat, weight close to your body, core engaged, regular, sit low in three, two, one, 40 seconds, down. Little press out with the knees. It doesn't have to be super dramatic, but just to get a little bit of that abduction at the bottom. If it starts to feel like too much, you can set the weight down or you can keep it with just the weight and no band. We're all body weight, dropping it low. So this is your lower body round. I still want you, even though we have that added resistance, still want you to get low into that squat. Trying to get lower than parallel if you can. We got five seconds to go. Three, two, one. All right, getting set up into that kickstand deadlift. So just like it sounds, kickstand. We're about hip distance apart. You've got that toe up for a little kickstand. We've got the weight here. We're gonna hinge here, drive it up. So it's not a lunge, it's a hinge. Drive the hips to the back, come up strong. We got 40 seconds right, 40 seconds left. Three, two, one. Hinge and drive that up. Now this is one that you can probably go heavier on. I'm gonna keep it a little lighter so I'm not pulling on my stitches on my back. But I encourage you, especially for this lower body stuff, to go a little lighter. I mean, go a little heavier. <laughs> Drop it down. So as we hinge, drive the hips to the back. Remember my favorite cue that Angela gave me in the Body Fit Athletic Club, as if you're shutting the car door with your booty. So you're hinging forward, you're not just leaning forward, you're driving those hips to the back. Notice how just pressing out, last one, and relax. Notice just by having the band, if you have the band, that you're pushing out using those extra muscles, really getting the hips and the glutes working. If you don't have the band, again, really focus on that front leg, but it just gives us a little extra. If you don't feel steady, hand on the wall or take the band out. Here we go. Take it here. Hinge it. So soft bend in the knees for both, but it's not a lunge, it's not a squat, it's a hinge. Hips go back. Push through that front heel. Core's engaged. And here, yes you can. And up. Connect with the core at the top, so zip it up, chest open. through. Yes. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Relax, set that kettlebell down. This time, guys, you can hold that kettlebell. If you want to add a little extra for this 30 second round, we can add a little lift at the top. If that doesn't feel right for you, keep it regular. We can do the same here. Add a little lift at the top. In three, two, 30 seconds. Squat low, little push out, little lift. Squat low, little lift. It's 30 seconds. This third round, we're gonna drop the weight and we're just gonna keep the band, right? Take it down and lift. Or just here and up. Drop it low, push and up. Take it down, lift. Breathe. Last one, and relax. All right, go ahead and get set in that kickstand. Now we're gonna hinge. If you feel good with the balance, little lift, bring it up. Hinge, little lift. Again, if you need, use a little balance on the wall or a chair. Here we go. Hinge, kickstand, lift, drive it up. Hinge, and up. Burn, both legs are burning, right? So you're still pushing out. Little lift, if that's not right for you, just take the leg lift out, that's okay. Squeeze, burn both legs. Breathe, three, two, one. Switch your legs, Woo, right with this band. 
All right, team, that last round again, we're gonna take the weight out and we're just gonna get it, hit it hard with that band or with that body weight. Three, two, one, kickstand, lift and up. You can also always do the little lift at the top. Maybe that's a better option for you as you come out of it. Do your lift and then your kickstand. Just the opposite, right? Ooh, balance, whatever gives you better balance. For me, obviously, it's here. Whew. Down, lift, huh. one more, boom, and relax. All right, team, set that weight to the side. Either just body weight or with your band. Here's what we got. Press out, lift, press out, lift. I want to add a little bit of speed, but I still want you to get low and get that burn. Then when we take it here, we're going to be down, lift. All right, so we want extra burn, a little speed, 20 seconds only. We're starting with that little squat. Keep that abduction. Hips are working hard in three, two, one. Lift. Take it out. So this is why we're going to call this your lightning round. One, because it's much shorter in time. Half of what you originally did. Only 20 seconds, but also because lightning burn. Yes. Hand up. Three, two, one. Get set. We're right here. I want you to touch it down, little lift. Touch it down, little lift. So a little bit more like that runner's lunge. Here we go. 20 seconds. Down, up. If you need balance, grab onto a chair or the wall, something sturdy. Power through that front heel and that back glute. Yes, you can. I know. Boom. Up. Three, two, one. Burn. Same thing, other side. Keep it small. Keep it low. Let's get the burn. Catch your breath. Get low in three, two, one. So it still is a deadlift, but you can get a little lower in that lunge to really power through that glute. We did this with that dumbbell where we started with the deadlift, took it more to the lunge. So you can really get low with it in the burn. Three. Two, one, shake it out. Team, you can take that band off, whatever you need to do. You may need to grab a little balance. Ooh, there's that heart rate, right? So that is what it looks like. We got same set of muscles, so all lower body with that, where we get the burn, we get the precision in that first round, we add a little intensity while we drop in time. Lightning round, here we go. All right, team. So I'm gonna go lighter on this because this is our upper body. Here's what we got. If you have a band, lighter band or medium band, we're gonna place it right here. All right, we're gonna start with an alternating row. I want you to watch me here while you're getting water or tap it out. We're gonna take that little squeeze, then bring the elbow up. Squeeze, elbow up. I want you to think of it as a gorilla row, but if you need to be a little higher with it or come up in between, you can. Squeeze out, row. Squeeze out, row. You're gonna have a little less range of motion with that row. Then we're gonna take it here. We're gonna go curl, press, adding a little squeeze. We're gonna move that band up so you feel it a little bit more. So right now we're here. Three, two, one, squeeze and row. Normally I would go heavier on this. I'm being careful on my back, squeeze. We got 40 seconds here. Breathe. So what's nice about this is you don't have to hold the weight while you squeeze, right? We're still getting it. Squeeze. Boom. Alternate. Pull that elbow up. Pull that weight up by your hip, right? I actually want you to try to pull. You'll have a little race, less range of motion with that band, but not pulling towards your back. Pull it towards your hip. Three, two, one. Relax. All right, team. So a little different. I want you actually to put it here, okay? And if you want, you can loop it like this. I know this is really strange, so don't worry. This doesn't feel right for you. Just do the weights. So we're here, here, squeeze, squeeze. Just maintain that little squeeze in three, two, one. Up, up. I know, super strange, super awkward. If your band is rolling all over the place, don't worry about it. Just use your weight. Do what you know. The only reason we're adding this 
is to give you that extra burn, to give you that extra resistance. But that only works if you feel good about it, if you feel like you can maintain good form. If it feels too weird, focus on what you know. Go heavy with this curl and press. We're gonna go back and forth between these. Breathe. Yes, you can. We got three, two, one. And relax. All right, team, take it back to here. So you're here. We're alternating again, 30 seconds from that low row. Squeeze, pull up, pull up. Keep it nice and tight in the back. You got 30 seconds. Squeeze out and row. Here we go. Press out, pull towards the hip. Press out, pull towards the hip. Squeeze, hand up. Boom. Squeeze it out. Yes, team. Woo, see, it's gonna roll. That's okay. If you're not loving that, just take it off. You can do that, just toss it to the side. Squeeze. Right through here. Boom. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's take that band a little higher. Again, only if it's comfortable for you. You're gonna cross it over, loop it through. Woo! See, now it's gonna, now it's gonna fight me on it because I've been talking about it. All right, team, so you get that little squeeze for your shoulders. Up, up, down, down, if that's right for you. In three, two, one, up, up down, down. Feel how your shoulders have to stabilize. Your core has to stabilize. Squeeze, <sighs> gentle press out with the elbows and you're gonna feel your back kicking in, right? You're gonna feel those back muscles, your shoulder muscles. <sighs> and breathe. If you're here, <sighs> yes, you can. Five, four, three, two, one and relax. All right, team, let's take that off. Let's take it with just your weight. 20 seconds. We're gonna row. We're gonna row from below. 20 seconds, curl and press. No band needed on this. Lightning round, get set, hinge it. Here we go. Towards the hip. Towards the hip. Breathe. You can also just do the pulse with the band. We thought this last round. You can really focus on that form. Pull it up and in. Five seconds. Yes, you can. Three, two, one. Take it up right here. You got your curl and your press. You can push into that kettlebell. Again, I'm going light. You go heavy. Up, up, down, and down. Here we go. Up. Strong curl and press. All upper body on this round. Feel that burn. Whoo! Yes, team. We got five, four, three, two, one. That felt a little quicker, right? Woo, because let's tap it out right here. Stretch, open up the chest and shoulders. Stretch to the back and the biceps. A little quicker because we didn't have right side, left side, right? Two exercises, just boom, boom, boom. All right, team. It's a kettlebell workout. You know I love a kettlebell swing, but you know we're gonna start with just a regular old deadlift. Go heavy if you can. We're gonna start with the deadlift, and then if you wanna stay with the deadlift, you keep it there. We're only doing one round deadlift, one round swing, but your deadlift is here. Pull those shoulders back, weight right in the center. We're gonna drive the hips to the back, bring it up. So the two-legged version, bilateral version of that kickstand. Let's get it done for 40 seconds. Wrap that core. Chest open and proud, shoulder, shoulders back. Three, two, stand up straight, Whew. hinge it back. Stand up straight. That should feel nice and good after those kickstands where we added the resistance, right? Here, and really think about squeezing those armpits. We're not lifting with the arms on the deadlift or the swing, but if you really think that you're tightening through those armpits, you're gonna activate those lats down your spine. We've just worked them with our row, so you should be feeling them. Breathe, five, four, three, two, and one, relax. All right, if that is right for you, if you've never done a swing or you're not feeling it today, keep exactly that for 30 seconds. If you've done the swing, you wanna try it, we're gonna drag it, we're gonna power it up, let it drop. 
lock it up at the top, core, glutes, hands, quads, all of it, and then let it drop. React to it, it's like a pendulum swinging. Lots of power, full body, shoulder blades back. Wrap that core, hinge it. We're gonna prep it here. Three, deadlift or swing, two, one. Power up, let it drop. And you're keeping that kettlebell low. You're not going above chest level. Even right here is good. Not over your head. We're keeping that traditional kettlebell swing. To me and to many fitness experts, we do not like the overhead swing, sometimes called the American swing. Not enough benefit for the risk. I prefer to keep it right here. Let's keep it going. Drive it up. Let it drop. Lock it out, let it drop. Three, two, one, and relax. Yes, team. Catch your breath. Let's grab some water after that, team. Woo. Set that heavy one aside. We got a quick round on the mat for some core. We're going to keep it short, team. We only got a 40 second round and a 30 second round. And guess what? No kettlebell needed on this. We're keeping it with just your band. So we're going to start here. Actually, you can use a kettlebell if you want. All right, so we're starting with our band here and we're gonna take it to a bicycle here to here. You can do it with or without that weight. You can do it with or without that band, but slow bicycle, 40 seconds. Then we're gonna roll that band up mid calf and we're gonna take it to a little plank walk back. Go ahead and join me here, core engaged. If you want to, you can also keep that upper body down. I'm gonna stay up, three, two, one, 40 seconds here. And here, take it here, here. So I'm keeping the, if you're using the weight, I'm keeping that kettlebell close to my chest and I'm rotating through my torso, all right? So my arms aren't working, my core is. And then using the band, think just as much about the pull in as the push out. So you create that resistance while you use your core to initiate the move. A lot of things to think about, that's why we wanna take it slow. Yes, and breathe. We got three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, slide that band if you have it. Mid calf, we're gonna take it here. You're going to be on your elbows. You're gonna walk it out or jump it out. It's a little plank jack. I'm gonna start with the walk, and then my second round, I'm gonna do the jack. If you're modifying, I just want you to take it from the knees. Let's do it, here we go. 40 seconds, walk it out or tap it out, tap it in. Staying lifted, or you're here. I'm gonna take that with my second round, but for this, I'm just gonna take it side to side. So as you press out, we're getting those abductors but a little different placement than when we had it above our knees on our squats and lunges, right? So keeping the glutes and the abductors working, but keeping that core working as well. Then we got one more round of each. Yes, team, 10 seconds to go. Hang with me, this is a short round, short circuit in five, four, three, two, one. Relax. <sighs> go ahead and take it here. So, let's put it back on your feet. Again, we got that bicycle. You can do it with just the band, just the weight, both or none. 30 seconds, slow and controlled, whatever that bicycle is for you, maybe it is just bringing those knees in, but let's do it, here we go. Modification, you just drive the knees in, you keep your upper body down. Right through here. Yes, ah! and breathe. Now I'm staying a little bit higher because of the placement of my stitches, but certainly you can be down and come up in between. It's up to you. And again, if you want no weight, take it here. Five, four, three, two, one. Last core move, 30 seconds. I know it's a core burner. That's why we're only getting two rounds. You can take it out with the jack. You can step it out, or again, you can be here from your knees, just tapping out one at a time. Let's do it, team. Here we go. Right through here. If you're doing the jump, I still want you to push out wide through that band, through the hips, through the glutes, and then stay lifted here, a little tuck of the pelvis. Wrap everything in and up, nice and stable in that pelvic floor. Yes, you can. And breathe. Ha! Five, burn, four, three, two, one. Right, I know. I feel it 
that too. Whatever you need to do to safely. Ah, go ahead and bring that band up since you got it on. Let's grab some water, team. I know that short little round of core. Whoo! Burn in the core. Get the heart rate up. Hope you're feeling it just like me, team. All right, one more full body circuit. And everything that we do is gonna get a little bit of both. So here's what we got, team. I want you to watch me. You're gonna do a lunge. Now you can keep it close if you have that band. Lunge and row, curtsy. Lunge and row, curtsy. We've got that right side, left side. Then we're gonna do a little side squat. Over for two, push into a press. Over for two, push into a press, all right? So we got upper and lower together. If you wanna just pick one, you can, but we got our upper pull, our upper push, and we got lots of lower body. So getting set, hip distance apart, down in the lunge with the row, and then cross it into the curtsy. Here we go. Hinge, row, sorry, curtsy. Bring it back up. And stand up straight in that curtsy. Looks like this. So lunge, row, curtsy. Yes, you can. We got two sets of 40 seconds, right side, left side, then with that squat and push. So this last round, full body, putting things together. You can do it again with or without the band, whatever you got, with or without the weight. Yes, five, four, three, two, one. Burner, right? Same thing, other side. So hip distance apart, getting low in the lunge, do the row and then cross it over. You don't have to worry about the leg lift. We did that before. Let's focus on good quality movement with a little added resistance in the lower body. Three, two, one. Row, stand up straight, curtsy. Yes. And here, boom. And here, yes you can. Boom, pull towards that hip just like we were talking about before. So we really activate those big muscles along the spine, not up in the shoulders. Here's what I mean. Not here, right? Pull it back to here. Keep it going. One more. Breathe. Yes, team, keeping it right there. Side squat for two. You're gonna step and step and press. Step low, step low, and press. You can do it, hang with me. 40 seconds, it's gonna get that heart rate up. Weight in the center, three, two, one. Side squat with a step, press it up. Side squat, and up. If that's not right for you, you can just keep a regular squat without the movement. You can just do a regular press. You do you. And up, side to side. Whoo, breathe, yes. Hup. 10 seconds, what do you got team? Hup. Five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. All right team, 30 seconds. We're gonna make it quick, we're gonna make it easy. Hinge, curtsy. This time, if you wanna keep your chest low the whole time, you can. If you wanna come up for that curtsy, you can. All right, we got 30 seconds, right? 30 seconds left. Let's get it done in three, two, one. Lunge, row, and curtsy. You don't have to rush it. I know as our time gets quicker, it's tempting, right? To feel like you wanna go fast. Burn. Yes. Ten, ten seconds. Guess what? Our lightning round of this. We're taking the band out. We're just getting us three, two, one. We're just taking it with our weights. Here we go. Same thing, other side. Lunge and row. Curtsy. Stay low if you want. Here we go. Pull. And curtsy. Pull. Don't forget about that core. Keeping it controlled. Notice how when we get that crossover, yes, we're getting that 
outer thighs, but as we cross over, feel those inner thighs. Yes, you can. And breathe, 10 seconds. Up. Yes, here we go. Three, two, one, boom, shake it out. All right, team, if you feel comfortable with it, you can move that band mid-calf. You're gonna feel the difference. If you don't feel steady holding the weight with it there, keep it above or take it off completely. Sidestep with a squat and press. Let's do it. In three, two, one, here we go. Double, step, and press. Double, step, and press. Up, yes. And up. Taking the band off after this one. Boom. Side. Up. Woo! Burn. Breathe. Three, two, one. Shake it out, team. All right, take that band off. Again, hold on. I know, it's a little tough. Woo! All right, team, here's what we got. We're taking it. Row, curtsy, row, curtsy. We're gonna stay low the whole time, no band. Then we're taking it, squat, curl, press. Squat, curl, press. All right, or whatever version of that works for you. 20 seconds only. Three, two, one. Curtsy, row, curtsy. You can think it low the whole time, right? Here, up and down. Pull, drop low in the curtsy. Yes! We got five, four, three, two, burn. This is it, team. Woo, we got one more little bonus round, but it's gonna be quick. Join me here in three, two, one. Down, up, and down. Strong row, curtsy low. We're still getting inner outer, right? We're still getting strong through the back. Upper body pull. We got our push coming. Five, whoo, four, three, two, one. Yes, team. Last 20 seconds here on the squat. Do the curl, do the press. Let's do it, here we go. Squat, curl, press, low, boom down, up, up, yes, five, four, three, two, boom, catch your breath team, do we want one more swing, why not, listen team, let's do it, one swing, or deadlift, whatever works for you, I know your legs are feeling it, I know those arms are feeling it, so let's finish the swing out strong. 30 seconds, hinge it, drive it up. Hinge it, drive it up. Give yourself a second for that heart rate to come down, all right? Remember, recovery is part of the process. Our goal is not to keep our heart rate in the highest zone the whole time. We want those highs and lows. We want the recovery and the spike. Let's do it right here. Here we go. You're gonna hinge it, deadlift or swing, whatever you got. Three, two, one, power it up, let it drop using your breath to lock it out. Squeeze in those quads, glutes and hamstrings, back, core, pelvic floor, push into your feet, let it drop, let it drop. Lock it out, let it drop, power it up. Yes, team, hang with me, breathe. We got three, we got two, one, swing and relax. All right, team, pedal those feet, grab some water. Listen, I know a lot of us are short on time, so if you need to be done, you can be done. We covered it. If you wanna hang out for one bonus circuit, it's quick, two moves, two times, all on the mat, all right? Hang with me if you want that. If you need to be done, no sweat. Go enjoy your day, get some stretching on your own. Make sure you hydrate. All right, team, I think our legs are feeling it. Let's take it to a banded press. So here's what we got. I'm gonna go a little lighter, but you can go heavy. These are strong. We're gonna place it again right through here. 
we're going straight up and down with that kettlebell close grip press little push out for shoulders and then we're getting those triceps at the top where's my baby one here we go so down on your back second round if you want to add the plank i know if you want to add the bridge you can and then we're going to flip over and do a little plank walk with it right here so hang with me team this is it super quick we're right through here so little press in fact let's move it up if we can that's what i meant above your elbows if that feels good for you let's get it done go ahead and get set in three two one up if that feels too weird for you take the band away just do the press it's a little different than when we have our dumbbells and we can really get that separation right through here but if you can you're here and if you if that's not right for you you can go here maybe i'm even going to do that because of being on my back i'm keeping the press out pressing out at a little bit of a diagonal 10 seconds team so you're feeling those triceps you're feeling the chest and shoulders upper push and breathe five four three two one set the weight aside move it back down to here here's what we got you can do this in that high plank position or if you need to be on your knees you can be here we're here we're walking out for two walk over for two you can move your feet with it or you can keep your feet planted either way we got 40 seconds team keep the pressure on that upper body here we go step out step in step out step in so notice i'm working at a little bit of a side to side you do what's best for you you can do that on your knees or maybe you want to keep one hand on the ground you feel that a little bit more right side to side where you're just going right side left side or you can go out out in in out out Woo, bird upper body 10 seconds team get that core fired up as well out and in three two one stretch it back all right team this time 30 seconds you can keep that press or if you feel comfortable going over your head into triceps you can do that as well watch me here 30 seconds here to here a little bit of that squeeze join me here press or tries 30 here we go press those elbows out straight up or you're here down squeeze if you're not comfortable holding that weight over your head just keep the press i promise you're still getting your tries another option is here right Woo, not that take it up down and up three two one last time team we're walking it out 30 seconds with that plank whatever you got knees toes walk out for two or walk out for one let's finish it out in three two one out and in think about your core what is your core doing it's staying supportive it's moving through the motion but we're pushing out through those shoulders through our arms through our back right but we're staying lifted here so not letting it drop not letting it come here breathe and in yes team 10 seconds to go i know boom Woo. five four three two one stretch it back team take it to the side stretch it out how about one more swing why not we're here let's do it it's 30 seconds that's all we need then i promise this is it bonus circuit done bonus swing and cooling it down you got time hang with me one more swing wrap that core shoulders back let's do it hinge it in three two swing or deadlift here we go power let it drop this is your last Thing. give it all you got whatever gas you have in the tank power up let it drop no band needed all power through your entire body swing in that kettlebell i hope you feel so powerful because i always do when i'm doing a swing it's definitely my power move drive it up let it drop keep it going we got five four three two one oh, man. drop it down team 
Woo! You know I went a little lighter. Man, I felt that all the way through. And I hope you did too. Walk those feet in. Woo! Yes! Ha! Catch your breath. Set those weights to the side. All right, team, I know that was a longer workout, but I hope you're feeling good. I feel like those supersets generally go pretty quickly and we have fun doing them, but let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you. Was that fun for you? Did you feel powerful? Do you like adding the band? I know a lot of you last week with our dumbbells said you love the burn and some of you didn't love it as much and that's okay too. Stretch it out right here. We don't have to love everything that feels good for us, right? <sighs> or is good for us. Take it up above right here, a little stretch. We're gonna keep this stretch really short, team, because I wanna make sure that I can get you in and out. But of course, please get some more mobility and flexibility work on your own. If you're following my monthly calendar, which is free to follow, we always have an active recovery day on day four. So you're gonna get that in, reach behind. Otherwise, you can look through my playlist of mobility and flexibility, yoga, Pilates, whatever it is, to get that extra work in. You know, I always try to sneak in some cardio and some strength and make sure that we get it in in ways that don't feel slow or ways that make you feel like you're still getting a workout while we're also getting recovery. So get some more stretching, mobility and flexibility on your own. Leave me a comment, leave me a like. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me get up there in those numbers and reach more people. That also helps me keep making these workouts for you. And check us out in the Body Fit by Amy app. If you're not there already, join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club. Thank you so much for being here with me today. That felt good. I hope you're feeling good. Let's get one big deep breath in and out you did it that was your kettlebell mini band super sets workout great job everybody